So good day guys! So our topic for this day is about hypothesis testing which is null versus alternative hypothesis. So an hypothesis testing involves a careful construction of two statements, the null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis. These hypotheses can look very similar but are actually different. So how do we know which hypothesis is the null and which one is the alternative? We will see that there are a few ways to tell the difference. The null hypothesis, the null hypothesis reflects that there will no observed effect in our experiment. In a mathematical formulations of null hypothesis, there will typically be an equal sign. This hypothesis is denoted by H O. The null hypothesis is what we attempt to find evidence against in our hypothesis test. So ang null hypothesis po natin is yun po yung kinakontradik po natin yung ating hypothesis test. We hope to obtain a small enough p-value that this is lower than our level of significance alpha. If we are satisfied in rejecting the null hypothesis, so once ng ating p-value is lower siya sa ating level of significance alpha or yung ating confidence level so we can reject the null hypothesis if our p value is greater than our alpha level then we fail to reject the null hypothesis so yan po yung dalawang magiging result natin so once ng p value natin is lower siya sa ating level of significance then we reject the null hypothesis but if our p-value is greater than our alpha level, then we fail to reject the null hypothesis. If the null hypothesis is not rejected, then we must be careful to say what this means. The thinking on this is similar to the legal vertex. Just because a person has been declared not guilty, it doesn't mean that this is innocent. In the same way, just because we fail to reject the null hypothesis, it doesn't mean that the statement is true. For example, for example, we want to investigate the claim that despite what convention has told us, the mean adult body temperature is not the accepted value of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So the null hypothesis for an experiment to investigate this is the mean adult body temperature for LTA individuals is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. If we fail to reject the null hypothesis, then our working hypothesis remains that the average adult of who is healthy has a temperature of 98.6 degrees. So we do not prove that this is true. So ibig sabihin, once ng ating null hypothesis na ang mean adult body temperature for healthy individuals is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, at once na na-fail natin yan na-reject, so, magkakaroon tayo ng working hypothesis. And dyan na pumapasok yung the alternative hypothesis. So, the alternative or experimental hypothesis reflects that there will be an observed effect for our experiment. In the mathematical formulations of the alternative hypothesis, there will typically be an inequality or not equal to symbol. This hypothesis is denoted by either HA or by H1. So the alternative hypothesis is what we are attempting to demonstrate in an indirect way by the use of our hypothesis test. If the null hypothesis is rejected, then we accept the alternative hypothesis. If the null hypothesis is not rejected, then we do not accept the alternative hypothesis. So going back to our previous example of mean human body temperature, the alternative hypothesis is the, the average adult human body temperature is not 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So ang ating null hypothesis kanina is the average adult body temperature is equal to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Ang ating magiging alternative hypothesis is pwedeng the average adult human body temperature is not 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Ang null hypothesis is we use equal. An alternative hypothesis, we use not equal sign. So for conclusions, hypothesis test uses sample data to determine whether to reject the null hypothesis. So kapag sinabi nating null hypothesis, 
The null hypothesis states that a population parameter such as the mean, the standard deviations, and so on is equal to hypothesized value. So the null hypothesis is often an initial claim that, that this is based on previous analysis or specialized knowledge. While an alternative hypothesis states that the population parameter is smaller, greater, or different than the hypothesized value in the null hypothesis. So the alternative hypothesis is what you might believe to be true or hope to be true. So yan po yung ating null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. I hope that you understand the difference between null and alternative. So thank you guys for watching.